Hi everyone, my name is Jason. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, if you followed me, or if you're following me, you know that I just recently picked up an 8-inch uh, RC telescope. I did some planetary uh, imaging with it and my G26, and the images of Jupiter came out all right. So what did I go and do? I went and purchased a ZWO ASI 178MC uh, colored camera. This camera has a much smaller sensor than the G26, so it's more suitable for planetary imaging. So hang around with me. Let's open up this box and see what's in it. Okay, so uh, just a little background here. I ordered this from Agena Astro on July 28th. It was supposed to be delivered to me on August 2nd, which is tomorrow, but I actually received it on Saturday, July 31st. So, at least for me, when I order stuff from Agena Astro, and it must be based on my location, um, I get things usually pretty darn quick. So I just wanted to give a shout out to Agena Astro for, uh, for the quick uh, shipping of their products to me. Thanks a lot guys. Anyhow, I'm an Orion kind of guy. I have a lot of their uh, branded products. Um, but I did choose uh, the ZWO ASI-178 for two primary reasons. Uh, first reason was it was $100 cheaper. Um, and the second reason was that the ZWO ASI camera uh, came with uh, a couple little extra uh, things. So we'll go over that. But uh, right now, let's go ahead and get into this box. So let's go ahead and get our knife out. Ah, we don't need one that big. There we go, that'll do. So let's open this thing up. Now let's see what we got. Packing slip. Bubble wrap. More bubble wrap. A nifty little uh, CWO ASI 120mm keychain. The ASI uh, 178MC. Let's go ahead and open up the box now. So in the box you have a camera, nice little camera, it's got some weight to it, pretty red, uh, USB 3 uh, cable, an ST4 cable, for guiding, if you want to do that, a one and a quarter inch uh, nose piece, a cover for the one and a quarter inch nose piece, some foam, and the ZWO camera quick guide. That's everything that's in the box. So let's take a look at the camera. The ASI 178MC is a 14-bit camera. It is 6.4 megapixels and it has the IMX 178 Sony sensor. The sensor measures in at 7.4 millimeter by 5 millimeter, which is pretty small. 
the 178 boasts a 3096 by 2080 resolution with 2.4 micron pixels. With this combo, planetary details should be within reach. The camera supports 60 frames per second with higher FPS attainable when using ROI. One of the main reasons I purchased the ZWO over the Orion camera was the 2.5 millimeter fisheye lens that can be used as an all sky camera. And the ZWO ASI 178 is advertised as having extremely low read noise. This camera has a USB 3 port to connect to your computer using USB 3 for faster transfer rates. The camera is also well adapted for use as a guide scope. It has the ST4 port for guiding. There is a one quarter inch tripod threading on the back of the camera for attaching it directly to a standard camera tripod. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of the uh, ZWO ASI 178MC. Um, I am looking forward to getting out and getting some planetary uh, images with this thing. And when I do that, I will definitely uh, share those on my channel and yeah I think that's it thanks for watching and clear skies thanks a lot guys okay guys uh, so a real quick update um, I actually was able to get out with the 178 and do uh, a first light on Jupiter and Saturn so I just wanted to go over the equipment that I used and the setup. And after that, um, I'll go ahead and show the uh, raw video and the um, stacked images that I got of the uh, planets. So the scope that I'm using tonight is the 150 millimeter Mac CAS. Uh, it has a focal length of 1800 millimeters at f12 so it's a 150 millimeter objective um, I've got a little Orion uh, red dot finder here we can see so the 150 millimeter Maxitoff Cassegrain at F12. I have a two inch Orion diagonal, and then I have the 178 sitting directly on top of that. The mount. It is the Atlas EQG from Orion. So this is the setup that I'm using for planetary captures, uh, or that I used for planetary captures that night. So there's the scope, there's the setup. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, video and the images.
Another thing I wanted to kind of mention, um, as you know, uh, it's been hot here. It, that's no uh, surprise. Uh, living in uh, Arizona, in the desert, in the summertime. I think when I took these images, <clears throat> it was 97 degrees at midnight. So I didn't stay out for too long, but um, I just wanted to kind of let you guys know what's coming up. Um, as soon as it starts to cool off a little more, uh, Isaac and I are planning to do um, something, uh, a little collaboration together um, out in the desert. So just kind of keep, uh, keep an ear out for that. And yeah, that's all I got to say. So thanks for watching. Clear skies.